In fact, why don't we just get into this? Because you, you do a great job with this type of content. Like, hey, let me show you how this really works. The way solar financing has worked over the past few years, these artificially low interest rates that were being offered with the solar systems, those were bought down rates. Exactly. Now, anybody that comes from mortgage uh, industry or auto industry, you know what that means. It yep. means you pay points at the time of sale to buy down the interest rate so you can yep. present a more attractive interest rate to the homeowner. So, if, I mean, think about it, Julian. If you're having to pay 5 or 6% interest mortgage uh, for your home mortgage, how should you be able to finance a solar system for 2% interest where there's no collateral? Does that make any sense? No. So how does it really work? So I, I have an, an, another question. So I sure. am curious with, uh, you know, another big kind of topic that's been going on right now, of course, is all the interest rates skyrocketing, mm -hmm. literally two to three times higher than they were, you know, six to nine months ago. And um, there's a lot of talk about like PPAs, you know, power purchase agreements and leases becoming a little bit more popular again, um, you know, as people maybe are hesitant to, you know, take on a higher interest rate. Have there been any uh, PPA or leases that you've seen come onto the market that aren't like as a... Uh, how do I say this? As predatory, maybe, in like their potential buyout um, option? Is yeah. there anything that's interesting that you've seen? Or are we still pretty much still with higher interest rates, still in a scenario where like 99% of the time it, it's still going to make sense to buy? What do you think about that? Well, I, I really appreciate the question. And this is actually a question that I'm trying to get answered for myself. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I'm not the best guy to, to, to answer about leases because, you know, uh, full transparency, Solar Search has never done a single lease project. We we do financed ownership, you know, loans. Yeah, I have I we avoid them as well because we know that they're they're not really for the customer. It's, right, it's for the financing company <laughs> right. to make the money. Right, yeah. right, and that that's kind of what I've heard about it. Just high level was you know when interest rates were lower, you could you could sell a system with a huge sales commission. You get a low monthly payment for the homeowner, and then the finance company makes out as well. I mean, yeah, I, that's the basics. I understand. I also understand there's some advantage if you can't take advantage of the tax credit that, you know, you might get a better return with a lease system versus uh, a purchase system with, with financing. But what I'm seeing more of and what I'm really leaning towards as far as how to structure these finance deals, if you don't want to just purchase the system outright, is just acknowledge that you're going to pay a higher interest rate. In fact, why don't we just get into this? Because you, you do a great job with this type of content. Like, hey, let me show you how this really works. The way solar financing has worked over the past few years, these artificially low interest rates that were being offered with the solar systems, those were bought down rates. Exactly. Now, anybody that comes from mortgage uh, industry or auto industry, you know what that means. It yeah. means you pay points at the time of sale to buy down the interest rate so you can yeah. present a more attractive interest rate to the homeowner. So, if, I mean, think about it, Julian. If you're having to pay 5 or 6% interest mortgage uh, for your home mortgage, how should you be able to finance a solar system for 2% interest where there's no collateral? Does that make any sense? No. So how does it really work? So may maybe it's not like this right now in the car market, but like five, six years ago, you know how they, they'd be like, you can take this $5,000 you know, rebate or you can get the 0% financing, but you can't take both. Uh, well, that, that's exactly what we're, we're talking about here. I mean, if you're, if you're going to have 0% financing, you're going to pay five grand more for the car. Right, because they have to make their money somehow. Right. So it's that that's the same exact thing with with solar financing. Let's say your your cash project is thirty grand, and if you want to finance that at nine or ten percent, you finance your thirty grand and just pay your monthly interest. But you know, most of these solar loans, like ninety five percent of them, are all structured with this buy down rate, where you're not financing thirty grand, you're financing thirty grand plus fifteen to thirty percent. And so, you know, now you're, you're talking about financing, call it 38 grand, and the bank just takes the 38 grand off the top in exchange for you getting your interest rate lowered to, you know, whatever it is now, 3%, 4%. It used to be like 1% or 0%. Yeah, um, yeah but, but you're paying several thousand dollars yeah. at closing, or you're, or you're borrowing a larger amount, which a certain percentage of that just gets taken and paid straight to the finance company yeah. before the contractor gets paid. Yeah, the contractor still just gets their 30. 
Right, exactly. The bank has taken the eight. The bank has taken the eight right off the top. So, so, you, so even if you pay out off early, you're yeah. not you're not gonna get that eight back. Yeah. So basically, the way that this uh, financial engineering has been done is they will work it out to where oftentimes your payment with the buy down does become a little bit less. You know, maybe it does save you an extra thirty, forty, fifty bucks a month. But if you want to get out of it before year twenty five or whenever it's over or twenty, or, you know, you, you're you're giving them the full amount. Uh, all 38 versus if you take the 10% or the 9% rate, your principal at that, it's only 30 grand that your principal was. So, um, you know, the average person's going to pay off their solar loan way before the term. You know, at wh whether they're moving, they get a little cash and they just want to get rid of their payment. Um, you know, they want to pay it off so they don't have to pay more interest. There's multiple reasons why. And so nine times out of 10, you know, the bank is going to make more money if you do the buy down, even though it's appearing to look better in the beginning. So a lot, a lot of the, you know, a lot of my sales or consulting really is not even about the solar. Yes, we obviously need to get the right solar system for you, but the financing conversation is sometimes just as long as the solar conversation because, I mean, you're not just buying a solar system; you're also going into business with a financing arm as well. And uh, there's a hundred different options there too. And I've seen people get great deals on their solar and then get, you know, wrecked on the financing basically. Right. So you have to have both. Uh, you have to understand both and be able to explain both. Yeah. Both ways. Here's the best way I can summarize it with what's going on right now. Interest rates are higher now than they have been. That's a reality. If I were to go buy a house right now and get a mortgage, I'm going to probably have to pay six and a half or seven percent interest on the mortgage. I'm also probably going to have to pay five eight thousand dollars of closing costs, which on a percentage basis, if you consider the price of the house, on a percentage basis, it's not that bad. It's right, maybe three percent, you know, of the total transaction yeah. amount. If you're going to finance a solar system, you should expect to pay similar interest rates, six and a half seven percent. And there's going to be a small amount of closing costs to pay to get the loan going, okay? Somebody's got to pay for the people that process the credit applications. Yep. They process, they do all the title work. There's, there's work that is done to set up a loan. Yep. So if anybody tells you it's no closing costs, what they mean is I'm adding the closing costs into your loan amount so I can tell you it's no closing costs. The reality is there's a cost to originate a loan. Mm -hmm. That's just reality. There's people whose job it is is to originate loans. There's people whose job it is to underwrite the loans, yeah. right? And so those people have to get paid for their time and energy. So expect that there's going to be a little bit of fees. But if you want to do what I would consider the, the, the fairest financing deal that's available right now, expect to pay 6 to 7% interest. Expect to pay maybe 1000 or 1500 of closing costs just to get all that paperwork processed. And then it's on you whether you want to keep that loan long-term or, or, or short-term. If you want to yeah. pay it off early, great. You're paying off a much lower amount. If you decide to keep it long-term, you're paying more interest, but you're paying interest on a much smaller amount. And that's, that's the way I, I, I explain it. That sounds pretty good, 6 7% in today's world so, yeah. with, with a $1,000 like fee, basically. Yeah, I mean... That's, that sounds pretty good to me. What I'm seeing for an average-sized <laughs> California home, if you want to finance at 6 to 7% interest... You're going to pay about $1,500 of closing cost or origination fee, whatever you want to call it. You're going to pay about $1,500 of origination fee to get the loan set up. Are, are, and are you saying that that's, that's what the, the interest rates are for the average solar loan as well or just for, for mortgages? No, no, no. For, for solar. I mean, that, that's what I'm seeing. Like the, the, you the, are? the loan that I use most frequently right now for California is, is the, the dividend 25-year 6.49. And it has a, the, the, the fee is, I mean, the, the, the fee is going to be dependent on the size of the project, but if you take yeah. a typical size project, like a $30,000 project, yeah, that's about where you're really, yeah. it's really good financing. Actually, that's, that's yeah. really good. Now, again, don't take it to the bank because by the time this video publishes, yeah, it's going to be different. We could have gotten yeah. another email that said the fees went up again. Yeah. Look at the but, date of when this video is uploaded and then take that into consideration when talking with us. But, <laughs> but, um, but that, that's kind of where I, you know. The way I, I look at it is like, look, if, if, if you know what the rates are to mortgage a home, that's that's the kind of rate you should expect for solar. If it's you, not going to be see, lower. Yeah, it's not going to be lower. If yeah. you see an artificially low rate, like 3% or 4%, you can pretty much guarantee you're paying points or somehow you're being you're, you're paying a higher price to get that lower rate. And if, and if you as a homeowner, like let's say you are being offered, you know, a, a financing plan and you know, you're not really sure if that's the real price, you know, I would, I would commonly recommend people 
ask what the cash price of the project is to that sales rep. And if they don't want to admit to you that you know there isn't another cash price, ask them for the cash discount because that'll be their workaround to give you that lower price. Mm. Um, that's a really, I, people call me all the time and they're like, I have four offers in front of me and I don't understand the financing because I feel like all of the, the people were kind of speaking or, you know, beating around the bush, you know, and they weren't really giving me like the concrete facts about the loan. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, again, a lot of, a lot of stuff out there. Um, but I think it's one, one question that you want to make sure you ask during the sales process is, you know, do you plan on keeping this loan long term? Or do you, do you think you're probably going to sell the house within five or 10 years, like most people do? Yeah. Because that's the only time I think it ever makes sense to really pay those high closing costs or, or the buy-downs, the aggressive rate buy-downs. If you're never going to sell. Is if you're, going to, you're in your forever house and, yeah. you're, and you're never going to sell. Exactly. You know, and you're never going to pay off early. Yeah. Right. And you want to maximize the tax credit because yeah. you'll get 30% of the fee back. Right. So. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope that they do come down eventually. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, it's uh, it's even more crucial now for us to like make sure we understand the plans and mm. guide people in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. Hey, if you enjoyed this interview and you want to watch the full-length version, be sure to visit the new Solar Surge podcast channel, where we're going to be talking to most of the top brands and top companies within the solar space to make sure that you have the most up-to-date industry information. Well, folks, that does it for today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.